Okay, now you throw an object with an initial velocity of 3 meters per second. It hits the ground 3 meters below. So it starts here and it's going to go up and then it's going to come down and it's going to hit the ground 3 meters below. I'm going to let the initial height be 3 meters and the final height be 0 since that's the ground. Um, the initial velocity is 3 meters per second. Um, okay, I just realized it didn't specify in this problem you throw an object up or down, but since we just worked on a, a problem where we throw it down, we're going to throw an object up with an initial velocity. Okay, how fast was it going when it hit? Well, look at what we know. We, um, we are looking for VF. We know VI, positive 3 meters per second, and we know D. Now, in this problem, I'm going to, we, we're starting at uh, 3 meters and we're going to go to zero. So, D, that displacement, is going to be DF minus DI. It's going to be zero minus three. So D is going to be negative three meters. So if you see, oh, we also know what the acceleration is, right? It's G. So initial and final velocity, acceleration, distance. Um, I hope the equation that's coming to mind is VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AB. Um, we don't know what VF is, that's what we're looking for. VI is 3, and 2 times negative 9.8. We start with up, and so we have to have both directions, and then negative 3. So 2 times 9.8. Minus 3 equals, um, this is 9, and this is positive 58.8. So that tells me that the square of the final velocity is 67.8. So take the square root, and the final velocity is 8.23 meters per second. And how long did it take to hit? Okay, um, the equation that we have to use for that one, and this is not a simple, simple problem. The equation we saw for that one is you know, df equals di plus vit plus 1gt squared. We're solving for d. Now, I mean for t, for time. And time is squared in this problem. And so um, it, we're going to have to solve a quadratic, but we can do this. So our final position was 0, our initial position was, was 3, sorry, my eraser, positive 3. Um, our initial velocity is 3 meters per second, and then this is going to be a negative, and 1 half of 9.8 is 4.9 t squared, right? Okay, you guys know how to solve quadratics, this is all right. Um, and it's already set up, except it's not quite in the order that you usually have it in. A is negative 4.9. Sorry, negative 4.9. B is 3, and C is also 3. Okay, A, B, C. So some of you ha that haven't done quadratics are thinking, what is she doing? Well, you know, x, AX squared plus bx plus c equals zero, the standard form for quadratic equation. Oh, um, it's got a second power. Well, our variable instead of x is t, so it's quadratic in t. You remember the quadratic formula? Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So negative 3, negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 9 minus 4 times negative 4.9, that's a, 3, over 2 times uh, negative 4.9 would be negative 9.8. Okay, let me get my calculator out. Um, 4 times 4.9 times 3, and this turns positive, right? because there are two negatives. Well, that is 
We've actually multiplied those three numbers together before up here. It's 58.8. And that's 9 plus 58.8, which is, you see right here, 67.8. So this is going to reduce to negative 3 plus or minus. Uh, well, the square root of 67.8, we have, we've already done that too, right? 8.23 over negative 9.9. Okay. Um, so this solves for time, and time is always positive. So when you look at those two roots, we've got negative 3 plus 8.23 is positive 5.23 over negative 9.8. So that's going to give us a negative answer, right? So I know that's not the root, uh, the, yeah, the root that I want. I have to have a positive root for time. So that's not the one I want. But if I go negative 3 minus 8.23, it's going to be, give me a negative number and divide by negative 9.8 and give me positive. So um, 3 negative minus equals negative 11.23 divided by negative 9.8 and I get 1.15 so time equals 1.15 seconds and that's it okay um, it's probable that I will not have you solve a quadratic on a test but I certainly could all of you have done that in algebra. It's one of those math skills you really, really should have under your belt, something that you should be able to do uh, with a little bit of jogging your memory to get the quadratic formula back. Um, and understand that, you know, remember, quadratic formulas often have two roots, in this case a positive and a negative. Time is always positive, so we took the positive root. All right, well, that's the end of our video, the last video on acceleration. Thank you for your time and patience.